Hello everyone, welcome to another Flutter tutorial. In this video, we will see how to debug network calls in Flutter and see the data and the body, the response, everything within the app itself in the UI. To implement this, we'll be using a plugin called Alice. The link to the source code and also the plugin is provided in the description. So let's start. As usual, I'll be starting with an empty template with just a container and our popspec.yaml is empty with no other plugins added. So let's start by creating a new screen. I'm going to call it home screen and import the material package. So let's create a dummy UI. Let's add an app bar and an empty container and set the home to home screen. Now let's go ahead and add the Alice package. And then we need the HTTP package. So let me find it. Copy that. Add it to the pub spec called Flutter Packages Kit to install the package. Now let's go to the main screen and create an instance of Alice. So Alice equal to new Alice. Import the Alice package. Now go to the go to your root material app and set the navigator key to the Alice.get navigator key. This is because we are going to use the, the Alice package screen to see the debug info. Now let's go to the home screen and create a variable called status. This is just for tracking how many calls being called, network calls. And let's write down the function to call one. And I'm gonna say final response is equal to await HTTP. Let's import the HTTP package. So as HTTP, so http.get and let's pass in a dummy service URL. So let's go to the JSON placeholder website. Let's find the post service, copy the service URL, go to our app, paste it there. So we have an error here. So it's expecting a URI. So let's make it URI.parse and pass in our URL. Now here comes the main part. So Alice needs to know what are the, um, the web, ser web service calls made, right? So we need to call Alice dot on HTTP response and pass in the response here. So that's how Alice knows all the data about that web service call. And now let's write another function. This is just to display it in the UI, display the status in the UI. So set status is equal to I'm going to say status and which call. So we'll be writing more calls and that will be displayed in the UI. So status one means we made the first call, which is the post call, sorry, the get call. And we'll be writing more calls um, and see the data from each service, how to debug those service data and everything. So let's add two icon buttons in the app bar, one to call the services and another one to see the data from Alice package. So Alice.showInspector will do it. Now let's override the init state method and call the do call, do call one and other calls that we are going to write. So let's aggregate it in do call, do calls method and call it in the init state. Let's do calls, right and in the icon button as well. Now we are gonna reload the app. That's going to call the, the network calls. So when you click on the, the second icon, which is Alice.showInspector, you can see this UI where you can see all the data, the method being called, the data being sent, when it was sent, and what's the size of the data that's received or sent, and the body, and um, so many information so you can see that the body is empty here and this is the response and if you scroll down you can see the, the body as well which is the response you can share the data from here itself and there are no errors so let's do the other calls okay uh, so let's uh, display the status which calls are being made in the ui let me make the background white So let's do the other calls. 
let me copy the do call one method and change the get to post and for the post let's add slash comments question mark post id is equal to one and i'm going to add some body parameters as well so body that will be a json object with the title foo and body bar and user id one so these are all dummy values for that service and set the status to two so we know that that call has been made so refresh the ui you can see that there are two calls being made and if you go to the inspector you can see that's a post call you can see the content type body you can see the body parameters as well and if you go to the response you can see the response data and data size received content length everything right the headers everything you can see so there are no errors and let's do another call do call three and i'm gonna say that's a put method and let me copy that url and paste it in there and let's see how this works and we'll find out if there is any error so do call three let's call it refresh the ui okay let's run it so you can see that the calls are being made and you can see that there is an error which is the put request so there is no such method allowed for the service calls so that's why we have an error here but you can see all the data but it's a 404 error right so you can see all the data being sent whatever things you have done in that request you can see it there and let's do another call let me change it to do call four and change it to post slash one and set the body to just title and let me say that's a patch call set the status to four and call the do call four okay let's run the app you can see that there's a patch call we made it's detecting all the data and we are receiving the data as well so there is that's the response that we received that's all good there are no errors so that's that's all very helpful data and do call five in this i'm gonna say delete and status five let's call do call five refresh the ui you can see that all the calls are being made since it is asynchronous it's it may be finishing at some like future time maybe not in the same order right so you can see all the data the delete request the response and what's the response received everything you can see there so this is a nice way of debugging all network calls you can see so many data you don't have to print it out right and you can just uh, enable these the analysis package only in the, the inspector only in the debug mode right so i'm just hiding it if it is in, if it is in the debug mode you can do this if you want so, so that's all helpful data so you can see there are so many requests being made right and there are so many other options if you can if you want to sort it based on the response code you can do that you can sort it uh, in the ascending order or descending order you can do that as well and you can if you want to delete all and if you want to see all the status you can see 15 requests is being made and you can also search so if you are searching comments you can see that all the urls with comments are, are being filtered here and so many useful information so um so that's all you can you can write that's so many information you can get it just by adding one liner in the network calls and you don't have to actually log or um, print out like you don't have to log it and right it's so easy to see it in the ui 
and you cannot log all the information and go through the logs all the time right so this is a very useful package to debug the network calls so if you like this video and if you find this uh, package useful please don't forget to like it uh, like the video share and subscribe and thanks for watching and see you in the next video bye